I'm going to show you how the barcode scanner works. For this test, I actually have a local instance of the EMS server running here. And I've installed a modified version of this provider here that has a get item that takes a item ID and passes it here to this query that's going to do a query select star from products where UPCA barcode equals code. So whatever code I got, I'm just going to look up whatever matches that product there. Now the barcode scanner I'm using is this one here. Uh, it's, what it is, it's a port of the zebra crossing barcode scanner that's it's an open source barcode scanner library. It's been around for a long time, lots of platforms. This is a port of the C sharp for .NET version to Delphi. The it, both versions use the Apache license, which you can see down here, Apache license. So if you're not familiar with Apache, it's a very permissive license, very easy to use. You can easily integrate this into applications, but talk with your legal department before doing that. One note is right now it supports code 128 and QR codes, which I think are the two coolest codes, except that product codes are UPCA codes, which are actually a different type of barcode. They are in the process of working on barcode uh, UPCA codes for products that will probably be available in the near future. It's just not available right now. So definitely check out this if you're looking for a barcode solution in your application. The great thing is it's all native Delphi code. So in my application here, I just use the camera component and I'm going to scan with that camera component. Just like if you use the camera component anywhere else, you're going to use that and it's going to have the sample buffer ready and we're going to call get image using the thread synchronize here. And so this line here is exactly the same. We're just grabbing that buffer image, putting in the bitmap on the form, which if we go back here to our design surface, go to our scan tab, let me hide these other icons here. We're just going to replace this image here with whatever the current scan is. And then we take that bitmap and we pass it right here to our scan manager. So the scan manager is the object we create from the barcode scanning library in order to see if there's a barcode. And it's gonna go through and scan that. And if we get a result set, then here, we're gonna take that read result and pass it to this add item routine, which is just gonna pull out the information from that result set. Actually, we'll go jump to that here. And it's going to call, this is the EMS service get by ID, which I just showed you. It's going to pass in that ID, which is the barcode and get back the name and the price. And then it's going to construct a list box item to display that information to the user. So I can show you the implementation of the call here in the client application. And we see here, all it is doing is using the backend endpoint, sending it the ID, executing it. And then we just take that stream, pull it apart and we get the product name and sale price out of it. And we set those in the return. Uh, make sure they're only receive one record back. If not, then we set the result set to false saying either I got zero or more than one, neither of which should have happened and return that error. So there's not a whole lot of really complex code here. It's pretty straightforward, pretty easy to work with. I think most of the code relating to the barcode scanning I actually got from the sample application. And most of that I recognized as coming from the camera component application that we ship. So not rocket science here. If you've worked with the camera component, you can work with this barcode scanner. So let's take a look at the barcode scanner here in action. Here it is running on my Android phone. And I'm gonna hit barcode scanner here. Now there you go, it scanned the barcode, the first barcode. I should have some paper here with the barcodes on it. These are uh, 128C barcodes, which are numeric only 128s. So they're narrower, they're not as uh, big, so they're about the size of a UPC code. But like I said, the soon will have UPC code support in there, I'm pretty sure. Um, so there we go, we scan that first barcode. We'll scan the next good barcode here. We've got the Barbie Careers Chef doll and the HP Office Jet printer ink package. Honey Nut Cheerios. And Frito scoops. Is it scanning this? There we go. Sometimes it's like, sometimes it's like boom, boom, boom. Other times it's like, oh, didn't quite get it. But if you move it in and out a little bit, usually it gets it. So we see it's got the Frito scoops. And 
Now we'll do the Barbie's career pilot doll. So there you go. This works great. It works even better on QR codes. This is the, uh, these barcodes here are one pixel width. And I found that I had to have the torch on the, the light on the back, which is pretty easy to do with the camera components. So you can, I don't know if you can tell that the light's on there, but it is. If you don't go with the one pixel width barcodes, then the, or if you go with the two pixel width barcodes, which is this one here is, then it, you can do that without the light, but that's a pretty wide barcode. So if you want to get the one pixel width barcodes, which is a pretty small barcode, then you need to have the torch on or make sure you have really good light. So there we go. I got two of them there in that one. Anyway, very cool, easy to use barcode scanner. It's going to grab this information, send it to the RAD server, collect the data back for the customer and display it to them here. So I could easily add like the ability to swipe to purchase on one of these items or something like that. There's lots of cool stuff you could do once you've got this. So this just really gives you that great interactivity with your customers.